Umeadi versus Uzodima Supreme Court case. Hmm. Imo Abga working seriously. Some secrets many never knew. Can you imagine? People should not be misguided by the matter before the Supreme Court. We're supposed to come up on the 11th of uh, January 2021. The matter was slated for hearing as against speculations that it will be for judgment that day. I don't see that day as a final day of judgment in the matter. After hearing, another date must be given unless the Supreme Court wishes otherwise. It must be noted that Abga as a party joined in the suit since last year. An application for joinder admitted by the Supreme Court. Abga as a party in the said suit before the Supreme Court. We have our own different prayers. Abga prayers not limited to the following. First, the Supreme Court having sacked Emika Hedioha and having subsequently struck out the application for a review of its decision brought, brought by the PDP and its candidate for the 2019 Imo Guba election forecloses Hedioha's chances of coming back as a governor of Imo state via any supreme court judgments secondly supreme court having sacked uche Umosu and been stopped by time for conducting a review of its decision uche Umosu is also out of the game third in the event of a possible sack of governor hopu zodima from office by the supreme court the party with the highest number of valley votes cast in the said 2019 governorship election is the All Progressive Grand Alliance ABGA. The ABGA should be declared the winner of the said Imo State governorship election of 2019. That the said ABGA is now like a party whose candidate is dead. Kogi State APC as a case study. And the court to make declaration for the swearing in of the deputy governorship candidate of ABGA in the said election. And the sixth reason is that that or in the other hand the court to direct abga to conduct a fresh primaries and or present a runner up of the 2018 abga party guba primaries as a fresh candidate of the party to be issued a fresh certificate of return by INEC and be immediately sworn in as the governor of imo states see supreme court judgment on kogi states apc and INEC. Seven, the, in the event of the absence of any of the above, the Supreme Court to nullify the entire exercise election and call for a fresh nomination of candidates through fresh party primaries for a fresh election where both the APC and AA shall not participate. A matter was fixed for hearing on the 11th of January, but many ignorant writers have been feeding the public with false hope about the case we have just decided to keep the abga joinder in the ongoing case away from the press due to reasons best known to us what we expect from us is that all abga faith to, to solicit to god for our prayers to be granted by the apex court really imo abga is fully recovered and we are doing our best long live all progresses grand alliance abga long live our national chairman ozombo Ozumpu, Dr. Victor Ike Oye, Long Live Imo Abga Family, signed by Honorable John Iwala, State Chairman, Ketika Committee, Abga Imo State. Okay now. <laughs> so the Umu Adi and uh, Umi and, and uh, what is this man's name? The governor, Opu Zodima. That one is even a separate case. They say, we've not been hearing Abga. Now Abga is coming to say that uh, they are even the bona fide uh, party to even take this thing we've not been hearing them i'm surprised they said they've been keeping it away from the <laughs> from the public or oh, wonder shall never end now they are saying that if they cannot give them uh, the power or the position then let there be a new or fresh election <laughs> where do we start from and i think uh, that on the 11th of uh, january the no election no courts are seated as regard to uh, this case of uh, um, Umiadi and uh, Opuzodima, wonder shall never end. Oh. Wonder shall never end. It's, 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 really, it's really serious. 
This is the problem of Igbo people. Give them gun, they will continue to kill themselves before uh because of power. That's what someone is saying here. Hmm. Who says so? And all your people are saints, Abi. It is everywhere. Stop making noise. But your brother Boko Haram, Iswa bandits, gunmen, Fulani Esme, what are they doing with guns, killing people randomly? Even animals that come there, their ways. Igbos are not animals like your tribe. So the way you reason, but when your brother ruled before that the fourth person is the winner of the election, what did you say? Well, PDP and ABGA are giving a huge insult to the Supreme Court, and as a result, the Supreme Court will not spare to give a huge sum as a fine. As a, uh, as a fine. Imagine toiling with the Supreme Court. This is really uh, serious. Nothing we personally would hear again. My dear, the said Supreme Court deserve more than insult from the right thinking Nigerians and not only from PDP and ABGA as said for giving us biased judgment to Nigerians. I'm not here to cross examine or judge the Supreme Court. I know that Nigeria courts, including the so-called Supreme Court, are biased. But when the Supreme Court has made its ruling, you don't keep going again for any prayer. It is the final court of the land, but one can go back only on the ground of topographic errors in the judgments. Supreme Court insulted themselves by in bid to please some power brokers blindly shot themselves in the foot. You know, at the end of the day, even if Su Supreme Court does not try to or will not try to obtain its verdict, but the whole thing is just clear. Something is wrong somewhere. And if something, if it is not corrected, that means this kind of a thing will continue to happen because that is the position of many people, even the Supreme Court, that they cannot obtain what they have done, whether wrong or right. Whether wrong or right. There's something wrong that it is not clear. And that is why a lot of a lot of party will still be coming, a lot of things will be coming back and forth, back and forth. How do they or how are they going to amend this whole thing? Because the whole thing has really gone it's gone messy. So so messy. When I'm even seeing Abga again calling for a fresh election. So it's it speaks volume. Honestly, it speaks volume. Mark my words, courts can never declare fresh election, but only God knows knows the Supreme Court has right to hand over the state to party they think is next qualified you hear this man go and read your book very well lazy people everywhere aprc can't give emo to abga impossible those these folks think uh, we are stupid in the event that uzodima is sacked who is going to sack uzodima why will he be sacked the issue of emo's Imo state governorship also is over. Umadi is only asking for interpretation. He is not able to comprehend the Supreme Court judgment. Period. They will explain to him. Period. Please stop deceiving yourselves. So guys, let us hear your opinion concerning what Abga is bringing again now.